Hey guys, welcome back to Delta Channel here, and today we're gonna be playing Clash Royale. And I know, guys, it's been a long time doing Clash Royale videos in this game, so I was like, why don't we just start a Clash Royale video today? And because it's my friend Delta Teeth started it yesterday, and we got so many views already, so I was like, let's do a Clash Royale video today. So today we're gonna do Road to Legendary Arena since we all know about the new update that Clash Royale came out with also all of the new Legendary Arenas and also the new leagues for Challenging, Masters, and Champions, a Grand Champion, Ultimate Champion, which now they increased the tro trophy level, which I'm pretty excited. So now we're gonna do Road to Legendary Arena at least, so technically almost we need about 700 or 600 trophies at least. So to so today we're going to do a couple of battles. So right now I'm using this deck. I got the freaking bandit. Like for the challenge. If you guys know about the 12 battle challenge that came out this weekend. So I completed it. But I, I barely won the bat. So really it was actually a very piece of cake. And that was so fun. Like holy crap. That was actually kind of intense. So now... We're going to begin our first battle in the Clash Royale. So, oh yeah, here's Electro Wizard in the shop. So let's start it. Let's go. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, so we start out with this four cards. Okay, so let's see what we want to do. Um, I'll place the wizard at the back, the ice wizard. And let's just see. What he will do next. Just be wary. You'd say to you guys, my. I'm not using Tombstone in this deck because I want to try out the Bandit with this deck. And because I just wanted to do that just because of for the lulls. That's saying for this awesome new cool deck I wanted to try. And here we go. Here's the other. No, you're not going to do that. There we go, and then, here we go, we're going to push for that. Come on, just take it in time. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're not doing that good start right now, guys. We only got a hit for the one giant, and now he's, like, going ham with cycling with that mega minion. Oh, my God, dude, I'm getting so freaking scared right now. Okay. Good news is that our musketeer took it out, and now... Now we know he has a freaking Electro Wizard that's making me freak out. And there you go, he has the Giant. And it's high leveled. Holy crap. Okay, so. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna do kind of levels right here. And then, come on, just don't touch it. There we go. And we're doing so much damage right now. And then, boom. Our freaking Bandit makes it to the tower and we'll take it out right away. Boom. And then he tries to zap it, but nope. Too late, our Busketeer takes it out, which we're in a freaking lead. So, that is a very good play right there. Oh my god. The Giant doing work, and the Musketeer and the Bandit taking work of that damage in that tower. Wow, that was so freaking scary. So now he's going to get kind of pressured now. And he's like, I need to go for that tower. But our chance is probably we can't go for the second tower because he's going to try to go for here. As you see, he's going to try to go for the big push. So that's why I cannot allow that to happen. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do that. Oh, my God, that would have been so good. So now next, I'm going to put, like, right here, take off with logging it for the win. And then, boom, he zaps it. So let's put a giant in front so to pressure him right now. And we'll just keep on cycling with that elixir. There you go. And then there you go. And then he's going to put the elite mega minion right there. But then, boom, he's the musketeer, and that's going to take it out. So giant went there. Twin damage. I don't know why he put a graveyard there. At least should have put it there because I would kind of get it stubborn. But here we go. And then there we go, guys. We won our first battle. Thumbs up. Well played and GG. Oh my god, that was actually kind of tricky with that um, graveyard. I thought we were gonna lose, but no, we didn't. So awesome. We took that win. We took that win. Okay. So next, let's go to our second battle, guys. I might, I'm going to do my two more battles and be done with it because I'm probably kind of busy today. 
So that's why I'm just gonna do it a little fast, and we'll do another video prob probably by Friday. I promise you guys, I'll do it another one by this week. So now we're gonna go for this, and he put a hog rider, and he's gonna put. There we go. At least we only let him get one hit off that. Okay, so please band it. Target the tower. Target the tower. Oh, he didn't. That didn't make it. That didn't make it. Oh, no. At least all we can do is that uh, he did. She did damage to the um, Ellie Barb. So that will be at least good enough for her. She tried. She sacrificed herself. But I wanted her to target the tower. But I get it. Sometimes mistakes can happen in this game. So there we go. He. Okay, there we go. We're doing damage a lot. Good progress. Good progress. Okay, so now. Now I'm going to need to do is I have to log all of this away again. So boom. And then there, had to back that away, and boom. There we go. Ah, uh, she got the hit, but okay. Boom, there we go. We got the hit, and we're doing one more hit. Dang. Woo. That's what I want to see. That's what I freaking want to see. So, let's put the bowler right in front of us right here, because I know, there you go, he just did that. And there you go. Come on. Please, make it alive. There you go. And then, one more. Come on. And then, by the time he kills that bowler... That elite barb is gone. So now the problem is that if they made elite barb still OP, but in this meta, if they're gonna nerf it, that's gonna make another problem because people are not gonna use their cards. So see, that's why this is the Clash Royale concept. They have to sac if they want to sacrifice stuff, th their ratings of their cards will go down. So that's why I get I get the game. I get the Clash Royale series games. They just, they have to make it, they have to make everyone use the cards, like, literally. They can't say, like, oh, this card sucks or anything. Every card is good in this game, unless if you know how to use it properly. So, that's just basically it. Unless some cards that I get it, because you guys are gonna be like, oh my god, there's some cards that suck. Yeah, that's true, there's some g cards that are generally, they suck. But still, like, really, but... I know some cards that don't, they really suck... But usually, no. So, that's why, that's why, like, don't just be so, like, it dependent on, like, saying, like, depend on any cards. Like, every card is fun. Every card is a very good game. Very good card of it, of course. So, okay, let's just finish this match, okay? And then we're going to take another crown in there. I'm just going to place the bowler over, th okay. There we go. We got the hit. There we go. And then we're just going to. Log it all away just for the lulls, and boom, we got two crowns on that in this game, and we were gonna go straight for the king tower, but anyways, time ran out. We still got the two crown win. Okay, guys, we're gonna go for a final battle. Um, yeah, I know it's, I know I'm only doing two battle, I'm only doing three battles, guys. But hey, I'm starting a video series for Clash Royale to Road to Legendary Arena, so don't you guys lose some hopes. It's going to be an awesome series we're going to do. Also, my friend Delta T, he's going to do his own videos. And our video is going to be the freaking road to Legendary Arena. So, please stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's just put the log right here. Oh, my God, he has a princess. Let's take a hit princesses index. So, he start out with the princess. Okay, okay. So, let's just do this away. And then, boom. Okay. And then he's going to go for that. And, boom, he's going to put rage. Now I'm going to put the giant in front. Let's see what he else has to offer. He has a log. Not sure about that. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. The bandit have to die, but the giant and boulder are going to take that tower off in just in time if they can. Nope. They probably can't. Yeah. No, they won't. <sighs> uh, I hate when that like happens in a bad time. So, okay. I have to log this one again. He's gonna go for that tower. Um, he's gonna probably go for one of those. I probably see. I probably think that he's gonna go one for the left, obviously, because he did more damage. But that's kind of rare. I did that once, saying like I'll like go for the right tower to be stupid, so to make him think that why is he not going? But I get it because people usually say that oh I want to go for that tower over there, so. Let's just go for the bandit, and boom. There we go. 300 damage just in time before she got hit. That would have ruined everything. So now the bandit did all of the work, which is awesome. 
And now we're gonna take off the Mega Minion if we can make it. Mm, boop. Okay. Now he's gonna put the princess down because now he knows that we wasted our log. So, so there we go. If we just make it in time, there we go. And boom, boom. Okay. Now we don't have to worry about the princess. And once if he spawns the minion horde, we are freaking set. So, uh, let's just place the bowler right here. Place a musketeer right here. Let's just bowl some of it away and like like mus musketeer do some chip damage. Come on, arrow tower, target it. Don't do let the princess die. Oh, the musketeer died. Okay, so let's just do that and just keep on going. Just, just finish the lumberjack. Just finish the lumberjack. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Now we can just log the princess over there. Do some chip damage. Now we can just go for this and boop. Okay, now we can go for another push out this left. He's going to do that arrow thing again. So let's just, keep, just finish that thing. Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, we're gonna do some a lot of chip damage, but nope, he's we're not gonna take it out. So that's why we have to do this. Boop! Oh my God, he we just took it off when he placed the princess. Correct timing. That was so worth it. Good game, dude. Thank you for saying good game. You also played well, man. You were doing very good. Don't say I'm not being sarcastic. You were playing very good. It was just all the pressure I just gave you. That's it. So, well, Shinoi played very Shinoi played very good. I. And that was actually a very good deck you played with, but but I I know how I did because I got the correct time placement for the log. So I, we got to three thousand two hundred and nineteen trophies. So we just finished three battles for today. So starting from probably Friday, I'm gonna make a video for saying a road to legendary arena. We'll probably do like three four battles a day, four three four battles for every video we might do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you put a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to our channel. And peace out. If you guys have the bandit and you want to try out this deck, please try it. It's very good. I don't care if you guys copy this deck right here. Have a just copy this deck and play with it in any arena if you have the bandit. Literally, it's good. What the only thing difference is, I had for a t freaking tombstone. But I didn't put tombstone anymore because since I got the bandit, I want to try it with the new game. And this deck rocks with it. So... Giant Bowler deck was very good with this, with the Bandit. It fitted perfectly in this deck. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Put a, put a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And peace out, guys. Love you all.